I YouTube. It's your boy Tank B Chopping coming at y'all with another haircut tutorial. Today we're gonna be doing a ball fade undercut. So basically, he's keeping the top. As you can see, he's got long hair on top. So we're gonna be fading up underneath that. So first things first, I grab my comb and I'm combing out the hair, combing it down, combing it with the grain. Make sure I get all them curls so I don't get uh, I don't snag any of his hair when I'm cutting it. So I got my Andis Cordless Masters. Got my number two guard using my double magnetic guards. And I'm just debulking all the hair. I'm going right up to that line where his hair parts from where it goes from short to long. And as you, keep, as you can see, I stay combing the hair down every time I, I come up with the clipper. And I'm doing this just so I can have like a level playing field. Make it easier for me when it comes to fading up. So now I got my Babyliss trimmers. Setting my, my bald guard line in. And I'm gonna go all the way around. And like I told y'all before, I like to drop my fades in the back a little bit. So when it comes to the back part of the fade, I'm actually gonna drop it slightly. And now I'm just taking off all that excess hair underneath. So this is actually my first video using the, the masters. Well, a, a tutorial, so I hope y'all like this one. All right, so remember I was saying in one of my last videos, when it comes to making this bald line, I don't focus too much on making it super straight. Uh, we're gonna fade that out anyway, so it doesn't really matter how, if it's perfectly straight or not. All right, so now I got my Babylon shaver. <clears throat> and I'm knocking off all that extra hair that I, I cut off with the trimmers. I'm shaving it down to the skin. Apply more pressure towards the bottom of the head and the closer I get up to the line, I'm releasing pressure. And then once I get up to that line, I'm also coming down. That way it doesn't leave a hard line when it comes to uh, fading that line out. It makes that line easier to take out. All right, now I got my one guard on there open and I'm going with the grain. And as you can see, I'm closing the lever slightly. And I'm, this is just another debulking technique. I'm just prepping it before I actually start the actual fade. All right, now I got my clipper open, no guard. And I'm coming up about three quarters of an inch, flicking out slightly. And then I close my clipper halfway, go up right underneath that, and then I'm gonna close my clipper all the way and flick out that bottom line. And then I'm just gonna adjust my clipper as needed to uh, get that to get that nice fade the way I want it to look. All right, now I got my number one guard, and I got it open about three quarters of the way open. I'm going up right underneath that top line, and then I'm closing my clipper slightly and coming right underneath that. I'm just gonna keep doing that until my clipper is all the way closed and hopefully it knocks out most of that darkness. That way the fade looks nice by the time I'm done. And if it don't, I'm gonna grab that 116 and hit it up a little more. So as you can see, I'm flicking out the close every time I start tapping that line, brushing the hair down. Now I got my 116 and it's open about halfway. And I'm still just attacking that, that bottom line. Close the clipper as needed. Now I'm doing some detail work with my clipper open. Adjusting the lever, open and close to take out them lines and them dark spots. And now I got my trimmer and I'm tapping that bottom line. Remember guys, when it comes to detail work, you can be as detailed as you want to be. 
All right, now I'm on the other side. I got my clipper open. Coming up about three quarters of an inch. Make sure I brush the hair down. And I close my clipper about halfway. Come right underneath that line. And then I'm gonna close my clipper all the way and come right underneath that. And I do these same steps with every haircut. Like no matter what, what guards I use, what clipper I'm using, my blueprint stays pretty much the same. Only difference here is I'm actually coming down uh, with the grain on this part of the haircut. This is my number, uh, my number one guard closed. And I'm basically just debulking it a little more. That's all. All right, so now I got my one guard on there open up. And then same thing, I'm gonna close the clipper as needed to start taking out that line. So I started off with the open, I closed it about halfway and then I closed it all the way. And then I do a little bit of detail work, open and close it as I see fit to get this fade nice and, uh, nice and, you know, just nice and blurry. Now there's my 116 guard on there. And I'm just working the bottom of that fade. Clipper open using a little bit of uh, using a little bit of corner blending. You know, there's some more detail work. Now I got my trimmers. Tapping that bottom line. And now I'm doing some more detail work. Most of my clippers and trimmers are zero gap. I do got a couple pairs that aren't. But, uh, most of them are. You know, I just like them better that way. Uh, whether you zero gap them or not, that's up to you. But me personally, I would just feel it gives me a better fade every time, you know, with when I use my zero gap tools. All right, now I'm starting with the edge up. Starting my initial guideline in the middle of the head. And then I'm just moving over slightly every time. So I give a couple taps, you know, I look at it, give a couple taps, and I move over a little more every time. And I've said it once, guys, edging up isn't the easiest thing. You just have to have an eye for it. You know, make sure you use your mirrors when it comes to edging people up. Well, really use your mirrors for the whole haircut, but when you use it for the edge up, it's gonna help you out a lot. I hope y'all enjoying these tutorials. Told y'all I'm gonna try to put these out weekly and I think I've been doing pretty good. Yeah, so this is what we do, man. Pay them up, line them up, get them out the chair. So my haircuts normally take about, you know, a regular haircut like this would normally take me about 15 to 30 minutes. Uh, when I record it, sometimes it takes me a little longer moving the camera, doing stuff like that. But uh, for the most part, 15 to 30 min uh, 20 to 30 minutes, probably max 40 minutes. But for a regular fade like this, I try to get them out in like 20 to 30 minutes. All right, so now I'm doing the same thing with my number one guard. I'm coming down, debulking the hair. Now I got my clipper open, coming up about three quarters of an inch. And then I'm gonna uh, close the lever halfway come up right underneath that and then close the clipper all the way and come right underneath that. Same steps I did on the left side of the haircut, same steps I did on the right side of the haircut, it's the same thing I'm doing on the back. And I'm just doing a little detail work now so I don't have to do too much at the end of the haircut. Number one guard. Got it open, I'm just coming up and I'm closing it as needed to get that line out. And as you can see, it looked pretty faded, but I still put my 116th on there just to be a little more cautious and just to make sure it has a nice blend. Clipper open. 
doing some detail work. And when it comes to cur uh, cutting over curly hair like this, you want to make sure you keep combing it and brushing it down because it's real easy for this hair to curl up. And sometimes, you know, it'll look okay, but then when they brush it down, it just gives it a different look. You know, it looks like they have a line, so you don't want that. So you want to make sure you're combing the hair down or brushing the hair down. That way the hair falls the way it's supposed to. All right, now I'm just getting them ready for the, uh, for the shave of the edge up. And then with that shaving cream, And on his mustache, I just lined it up with the with the with the blade. I didn't even hit it with the trimmers. I'm just giving him a nice line. That's it. All right. Now, when it comes to the edge up, I'm just going over what I did with the trimmers basically. So I got that blade on there. I make sure I'm stretching the skin and I make sure I'm holding that blade flat that way I don't nick them. I'm going against the grain on the top of the edge up. And like I said, I'm just going over what I had, making sure I get that line crisp. So I tend to go over the same spot a lot. Just, you know, I'm, I'm try, I try to be very careful when it comes to edging people up and I do like a little section at a time when it comes to doing it with the blade. And that's what works for me. Some people use the whole blade and they take off they take off a lot of the hair. I don't. I just do it this way. But uh, yeah, y'all check out the fade. I think I left this man with a nice haircut. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. Like, comment, subscribe, share. And until next time, YouTube, I appreciate y'all. Have a good one.